Welcome to Search and Social Media Optimization Essentials. It is no longer possible to separate search and social media optimization. A holistic approach is needed to optimize all content for all of the places it may be found online. Search and Social Media Optimization Essentials addresses optimization tactics as they apply to an overall online presence, focusing on search engines, social media platforms, and the mobile web. We begin with a discussion on how to get found, how search and social media optimization can no longer be separated, how Google's algorithms have changed in favor of organic search results, and how the rest of a course is organized by first defining the playing field made up of traditional search engines, vertical search databases, social media, and the mobile web, discussing how to prepare keywords and how to use them, and breaking down the process into optimizing for search, optimizing for sharing, and optimizing for conversion. Then we focus on where to get found, further defining our playing field by taking a closer look at traditional search engines, universal databases like video, news, web, and image search, exploring how Google Plus Your World affects personal search results, defining the main areas of social media, and how the mobile web poses different search challenges. We then discuss keywords at length, starting with the research of creating a page with all the information you can gather, scanning the page with a keyword discovery tool, using additional methods like suggested search terms to find relevant keyword phrases, and ending with how to use keywords organically and naturally throughout your entire online presence. We are now ready to dig into optimizing for search, Beginning with search engines, we focus on optimizing content like how to place keywords in web pages, optimizing images, and optimizing outgoing links. We look at how to optimize content for universal search, including image search, video search, book search, news search, and more. We examine how Google Plus Your World can help get our content better exposure and how to prepare our social media profiles for this type of search. Optimizing for social networks is tackled next, focusing on optimizing page and profile content for Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Google Plus. Then on to status updates. As far as optimizing keywords using hashtags in Twitter, LinkedIn, and Google Plus, and taking a closer look at Facebook's feed algorithm how to optimize different types of content for discoverability, and how to use Facebook Insights to improve your efforts. We discuss optimizing content for other social media platforms, such as optimizing blog posts, videos for YouTube, images for Flickr, and content within document sharing sites like Scribed and SlideShare. And finally, we look at optimizing for search within the mobile web by discussing how people use the mobile web differently, how to ready your website for the mobile web, using options like responsive web design, and the special challenges of optimizing content for mobile search, particularly for voice-powered search engines. Then it is time to turn our attention to optimizing for sharing, beginning with how to create more shareable content by creating shareable updates in social networks, optimizing media for sharing, and producing more shareable web content by following good web content practices based on usability studies and industry research. We explore ways of making content easier for visitors to share by incorporating sharing buttons that can be tracked through analytics tools and by exploring more innovative methods like scripts that require visitors to tweet in order to download content and creating your own embed code for content like infographics. To wrap up optimization for sharing, we discuss Open Graph as far as how it can help our content look its best when shared, especially on social networking sites like Facebook and LinkedIn. We look at examples of content that has been optimized for sharing and content that is not, and discuss how the Open Graph protocol can help us optimize our own content for sharing. Now we come to the third and final main section of the course, optimizing for conversion, beginning with Google Authorship. Google Authorship makes our content look great in search results, and we walk through the process of acquiring authorship for your content and how to test it. We demonstrate this process on both HTML websites and WordPress-powered websites. We also demonstrate how to verify your website with the Google Plus page, so it too can look great in search results. But Google Authorship is only one way to improve your content's look in search results. Rich snippets and microdata can improve it even more by adding information like reviews and product data to your search listings. We show you how to add rich snippets to your content and how to delve deeper into what is called semantic or structured markup by adding markup to your content using microdata defined at schema.org. 
We then take a look at some special uses of semantic markup by Twitter and Pinterest. Twitter cards use semantic markup to make website, blog, image, and video content display within the Twitter timeline. And adding Twitter cards to a website or blog is an easy process, especially if you are already familiar with semantic markup. We walk through the process of adding Twitter cards to HTML websites and to WordPress-powered websites using real-world examples. Pinterest offers something similar with this Rich Pins feature. You can include product information within pins when others share your images. We walk through the process of adding this feature to content, again using semantic markup. Now we are ready to pull it all together and develop an overall optimization framework by looking at all the areas we covered and condensing the tactics down into consistent focus areas. We look at the main focus areas of optimizing for search engines, social media, mobile, sharing, and conversion. Then pull it all together into tactics that can be applied to your overall online presence and to online content. And wrap it up into a manageable framework we can apply to everything. So get ready for the most valuable optimization course you will ever take in Search and Social Media Optimization Essentials today.